Everybody are talking about Israel as innovation nation. What we're trying to do is to show you the action and people behind it. They say when the cannons roar, the muses are silent. In Israel, the muses roar. Can we ask why Israel wins all the time? That they believe in science and education. It's not the first time uh, we're dealing with such a situation. In my previous company, we had similar circumstances. Although this time, being a startup in Tel Aviv, we are more involved. A few missiles aiming for Tel Aviv. We have sirens. We're worried about our families at home. The mood is not as it's on our daily lives, happy and a bit crazy. But uh, we're continuing to work and the fact that we are together as a team helps coping with this kind of uh, situations. Obviously it's, it's hard for everybody now in Israel, but I uh, think that the Israeli people are strong. The DNA of the entrepreneurs in Israel is um, to keep uh, making initiative and keep on going. I got one brother who's in Gaza, I got one employee who's like in Poland because it's too hard and another employee is uh, in Gaza also. My parents and my dad is, is right now lives in Ashkelon, which is the most attacked uh, city in Israel right now. For me what it means is that, uh, you know, uh, I double check the WhatsApp and I call him if he forgets, he's 70, so he doesn't always update the WhatsApp. You just sit on lunch and just everybody talks about what he read on WhatsApp or what are the views that he's currently seeing and rumors that coming from. My trip this time is just like all of my other trips, except Exactly, we do this little routine where all of a sudden you hear the sirens or I look to Leora and uh, she says, okay, they're going off and everybody kind of stands up and walks into the hallway and you know, we sit there for a minute and then we come back in. Not nearly such an interruption as I thought it would be um, and I'm very impressed by it. So there's a system and we go through it and everything is okay. If we were in the United States, like what we hear and what we see, we assume that there's people like running in 10 different directions all over the street when, when these sirens go off, but it's so organized and there's so much trust between the team that it feels very routine, it feels very normal. You know? When times like this come, one of the ways to deal with them, to do, to build, it even makes it easier for us to be focused on our work. What we're trying to do with PeaceTube is make people really, you know, talk with each other directly, not through uh, media or governments, but really take a look at the other side and see that they're regular people just like us on the other side. It's not only that they, Israel loves science and things like that, they have leaders that believe in life, while you know, Hamas is something that you know, glorifies death. We feel very bad for the, the people in Gaza and, and what they're going through, and uh, it's really a shame that these uh, enormous budgets of billions are going uh, to terror infrastructure rather than going into development and, and growth. This is how we think we can uh, change something or uh, contribute to a different uh, reality. Um, and if we're not uh, in the front line on reserve duty, then we can be here and try to achieve it in other means. Israeli's main problem is not Hamas. I think it's world opinion. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, I think if you live there, <laughs> You know, your main problem is, I might get bombed when I go to the dry cleaners. I think that's a, a little more it's important than do people story, like yeah. me. This is a very challenging time for innovation, as emotions and sirens are so intense. Thanks to the culture of resiliency, we keep the innovation going. Should we give up or should we just keep chasing pavements? In Israel, we prefer building it together.